Aloha, it's Kiana Kayab Yab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Monday night's power shutoffs on Oahu have validated concerns about Hawaiian Electric's shift to more renewable energy. Government officials previously warned about possible electricity shortages after a large coal-fired power plant was decommissioned and planned solar farm and battery storage projects face delays or cancellation. Hawaiian Electric described Monday's shortage as the result of several impacts from a Kona storm that brought heavy rain and strong wind from the south. Two of the company's six power generation units at its Waiau power plant in Pearl City were knocked offline by the storm. Meanwhile, the stormy weather reduced the amount of solar energy that was generated and stored for release during peak evening usage. Hawaiian Electric said other factors contributing to the blackouts included a slowing of wind power generation and reduced generation by the city's garbage to energy plant. Alaska Airlines is canceling all flights on Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes through Saturday. It was an Alaska Air MAX 9 plane that suffered a blowout during a flight last week. As it awaits instruction from Boeing and federal officials on how to inspect its fleet, the airline said it would cancel 110 to 150 flights a day. United Airlines is the only other U.S. carrier that operates the MAX 9. It canceled about 200 flights today, but it's not clear how many were related to the Boeing plane. The FAA grounded all MAX 9s in the U.S. on Saturday, the day after a panel called a door plug blew off an Alaska air jet over Oregon. The pilots were able to return to Portland, Oregon and make a safe emergency landing. No serious injuries were reported. New details have been released about a settlement reached between the Department of Justice and engine manufacturer Cummins, Inc. Cummins was charged with illegally installing emissions control software in thousands of vehicles to skirt emissions testing. The company agreed to pay a $1.675 billion fine and $325 million to remedy environmental damage caused by excess emissions. The Justice Department said it is the largest ever civil penalty for a Clean Air Act violation. Cummins, which supplies diesel engines to Stellantis, must also recall more than 600,000 Dodge Ram trucks manufactured over the last decade. Cummins did not admit any wrongdoing under the settlement. Honolulu police are investigating after a 34-year-old bicyclist was seriously injured in a hit-and-run on North Nimitz Highway. Police said an unidentified motorist was traveling west in the highway's right lane near River Street at about 12.15 this morning when they struck the bicyclist. The man on the bicycle was traveling east in the bike lane. The motorist did not stop to render aid or provide information to first responders. Honolulu Emergency Medical Services paramedics treated the victim and took him to a hospital in serious condition. A detailed description of the vehicle involved in the hit and run was not made available, but police said it might be a gold truck. It is unknown if speed, drugs, or alcohol were contributing factors in the collision. The Securities and Exchange Commission has approved the first exchange traded fund for Bitcoin. The SEC said it's still deeply skeptical about cryptocurrencies and that it did not approve or endorse Bitcoin in its decision. Despite its doubts, the SEC is finishing the approval of 10 exchange traded funds for Bitcoin. An exchange-traded fund, or ETF, is an easy way to invest in something like gold, junk bonds, or bitcoins without having to buy it. Cryptocurrency advocates hope the development thrusts bitcoin further into the financial mainstream. The regulatory green light has been anticipated for several months, and the price of bitcoin has jumped about 70% since October. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.